Hello everybody, Daz here, welcome to my new video and I promise you it will be very exciting and I explain it just in a second. So what's happening in my world? I'm going to upgrade my personal rig. So collecting parts, today I got another piece of the puzzle, Gigabyte Designate EX board, X399, the very new thing, uh, nobody reviewed it actually, so I guess I'm one of the first people who get it. Came totally in a bare box without any padding, thanks to new egg. But hopefully it will be no issues down to the road. And what we will be discussing today is another component, I'll take this out of the way, that I'm going to use in my personal rig, and this will be C-Sonic PSU. First time ever, I'm running YouTube channel, I don't know what, 2007 I think, like 10 years almost at least, and I never ever did any giveaways and this time we actually will discuss this PSU and you will have a chance to get exactly the same model free of charge worldwide can you imagine that? participate you might get one so let's look on the my model and you potentially get exactly the same model I have a few things to say about this and we will look on it in a second so virgin packaging you see no pre-packing in advance so we'll look together but I already did a few reviews for power supply so it's unlikely we'll have any surprises here well actually before we even go into power supply itself I just would like to shout out to whoever did the design for the box it's really hard to make exciting boxes those days because everybody tried to do it the best possible way and quite often the things can overdone really in tacky and not tasteful designs. This one, not too flashy but at the same time very exciting. So for me as somebody who does graphical design from time to time for our own purposes for our business, I would say this is a superb job on that. So whoever you are, my thumbs up for that all right so actually let's clear the scene we don't need my test bench here all right so now we can concentrate on the actual product itself the packaging pretty standard i would say what you get you get power supply set of cables and a little bit of accessories so let's take a look at that quickly Accessories, what I mean basically, you just get a zip ties and sometimes you get a velcro. I personally always use both. If I need something to attach to the case, obviously zip ties is the best way to do that. It's permanent fixing, you do it at the end of the build when you know what's happening. Velcro actually very useful on the initial stages when you need to temporarily tuck cables so they don't hang anywhere. So if you get it in the package it's very nice you also get additional sticker if you one of those people who like put a lot of stickers on their systems that's something you have and of course the manual which will say very interesting thing this power supply comes with ridiculous 10 years warranty which guarantees that if you really cheap 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 you will at least use it in two builds so like every five years or even you run like seven years so it, somehow it will migrate to the second build if you're more of a regular guy i would say you run through generation you miss one generation you upgrade of the next generation like i usually do so probably good three builds guaranteed here so 10 years warranty is just i don't know it's really crazy to have it like that so it also shows that how confident they are in their product so they master it so much they say listen we know our failure rates and uh, we're pretty confident to give you 10 year warranty without going bankrupt which is basically it's always a concern if you give too much and things go bad so you might go under right so you should watch such things and obviously Seasonic has absolutely no issues to sell us that hey guys we're best on the market no problem 
Well, I'll give you a 10 years warranty. Few things I want to talk. First, I would like to talk about power supply and then I briefly touch cables because there's a few items that I'd like to mention here. First of all, the model I get for myself, this is 850, but it's look like 450 model by the size of that because look, I already tackled it away. We, we usually get used to models which goes on a higher voltage level, a little bit bigger size. So this is 1250 and in the past it would be exactly the same size, but right now it's super compact, will go into any small or medium size case, no problem, which potentially could be situation for me because I'm still selecting the case, I don't know which one I use. So the small form factor is obviously a bonus. Another thing is that 850, those days is basically as old thousand watts before because efficiency of the motherboard efficiency of gpu the fact that we're migrating all to ssds and we don't run like 10 hard drives anymore and cd-roms the voltage requirements that you're drawing from the wall to your computer systems actually dramatically dropping. So 850 is pretty much as much as you need if you run coupled GPUs, which is not every person will do those days, and the standard motherboard and CPU overclock. So 850 plenty. Another thing that I never saw, but I noticed with this model that we have this power button, power switch on the back, but they also they put the echo button outside usually you have some sort of echo button on the inside of the power supply which means that if you'd like to test your fan or you would like to you know switch between a silent mode and less silent mode you actually need to go inside of the computer which is not always convenient so this is they put it outside i don't know guys i i never saw anything like this on models before so this is example of this gold piece here we have this button on the inner side here we have this echo button is outside i think it's actually a good idea it's very simple thing but it's just little things that make things easier so what this button does as long as talking about it the pcu will be run no fan up to 30 percent load if you, for whatever reason, you would like to draw some air through the power supply, doesn't matter. Even if it's below 30%, you basically press on a button and it will start spinning. So that's your choice. If you if you idle a lot and you don't want fan spinning and just bringing more dust through your computer, you're switching it off. So that's what it's for. Another thing that I'd like to bring out is that we have this logo in the middle of the fan. It's pretty visible, but it also gives a good opportunity for those people who try to customize them. You easily can pull it out, cut out your own graphics and put it in. So that is just another way to make a signature build and make something for your own. So this is interesting and very easily modifying parts that that i really like it's not always the case but look look at this one so this is like gold thing or above the fan and uh, you like it or not there's not much way you can modify it unless you unscrew it and i don't know like paint or something like this here everything is black already so you can put your log in the middle and your computer looks pretty cool super compact i can't even like keep surprising i just opened it up i knew it's small but i didn't really realize it's that small it's just it's just crazy it's not half size but yeah i guess at least three quarters i think that's about what it is so it's pretty amazing so let's look on the cable so power cables nothing special there's a standard thing and we have a two set of other cables all right a lot of noise let me open up and then we'll talk about it so we have a two sets of cables one sleep by a knot so traditionally the ones that are sleeved is uh, your motherboard and your gpus and cpu power it's not like perfectly custom type of cables everything is inside of one major sleeve 
if you build the system when you're going to use extensions it's absolutely perfect scenario you have a black unintrusive cable that going from your power supply somewhere behind the motherboard area and after that you meet them with your extension of custom color combination and that you show in front of your motherboard that's how i do 99 percent of my own builds i never bother to do full custom sleeving it just too much for me personally i know lots of people do it but i just can't justify sitting for a month and do such things so that's how much it take me if you decide to sleeve cables themselves i would suggest to maybe you make your own because as you see we have 24 pin here and we have what 18 and i think 10 which means that somewhere those cables they actually split so it's not like one single wire goes all the way from one connector to other connector so this will be hard to sleeve if you do it personally will require some custom wiring so as again i would say that much easier less resistance way to build a kick-ass system with this power supply will be use extensions that i going to use in my system now gpus you have those cables that allows you to power up entire card with one single cable you can connect both of your power slots on a gpu so if you don't want to do that and you try to squeeze extra that you will have all the stuff dangling around which is not very nice the way to go around it again to use extensions or use a completely customized cables basically in most i didn't open this one but in most cases for majority of gpus i dealt before all right all right guys i really hate when it's happened but i have a fedex guy just um, brought a box another box to me so i kind of lost train of my thought but again so what i think i was talking before was the fact that from my experience when you cut off and open those gpu cables from almost any psu manufacturer it just straight wires without any crossing nothing special so those type of wires probably the easiest to make on your own or sleeve them or, or make a copy of it so it's not as hustle as with those ones which might have a capacitor even solder it somewhere in the middle so this is very easy type of connection and it's very easy to fix if you want your own sleeving which is a big part of a customized build lately that's the type of cable we have it's all all of them sleeve so gpu and the motherboard connection all sleeve the rest is traditionally it's just ribbon cables that we're seeing for i don't know for 15 years now or more this is from the beginning of power supply we have those cables they cheap they provide you with all you need with number of peripherals shrinking more and more i think all those cables became less and less important i wouldn't complain much about not giving nicer cables for this particular thanks god they're black and that's all we need and good that c sonic not really spent much time on giving something really fancy and just increasing the cost of the item while we might don't even use them so what's about the pricing i look up briefly i got it of course as a gift thank you very much for c sonic but i look up on new egg usa 99 dollars for gold model like this so not too much if you want to upgrade to platinum the same 850 watts this will be 139 99 140 so 40 bucks for platinum not sure how much money you save you're going a little bit up but some people just want to go as much efficient as possible so that's your options if you don't need that much power you have a much smaller computer you can go as low as 550 so guys i would like to remind you again you can get this exactly power supply ship you anywhere you live doesn't matter north america europe asia islandia antarctica name it you can have it all you need to do follow the link follow a couple simple instructions make us happy and we'll make one of you happy thank you for watching i'll come back with more reviews of the product i'm using in the build and we will start building soon See you later.